Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we are looking at Gargoyles, issue one. This is a 2022 book from Dynamite, written by Greg Wiseman, art by George Combatius, letters by Jeff Eckleberry. I have the main cover by David Nakayama, and by Nate Crosby. So we start off with an introduction to Detective Maza and her partner, Matt Bluestone, as they try and stop some thieves. And that's when the Gargoyles swoop in and help out. And of course, the gargoyles are left out of the police report the official word and then we are introduced to all of the different characters we've got the regular gargoyles then we've got katana and their son nashville we get to meet lexington and some cyborg and a robot named cold stone and cold fire and we learn that there's a gang war going on that those two tried to break up things didn't quite work out that well and that two men that had been put away that were head of the gangs are in custody and that created a power vacuum and leading to a bunch of spikes in crime and gang war. And we also find out that the parents of these guys are getting out of jail, so that's going to cause even more problems. But it's not even done yet. We find out Talon is having a child with his wife, and there's a third party interested in that. That's the basics of the issue. It's a setup for future storylines, and there seems to be a lot of story threads there. Overall, it was a great introduction to the characters. We get to learn who all these people are and a little bit of brief background about each one usually a line or two i was actually really impressed with the story it was a good first issue if you've never seen the cartoon there's enough here that you get the idea of why they're where they are and what's going on and a lot of story threads i was really really impressed with the writing the art is a little too sketchy for me it's too simplistic which is a weird thing to say but it's mostly the angle nature of it it's the characters' features look like they were drawn later and added on, and sometimes the proportions aren't quite right. Overall, the gargoyles look okay, but the humans have very angular faces, and of course everybody suffers from anime mouth, but it just didn't sit quite right with me. I'm just not a fan of this style of art. If you're a fan of the, this real light line work and anime mouth, then you'll probably like it. It just didn't work for me. So it's a clean style, it just is a little too cartoonish for me, and not in a good way. If it looked more like the 90s cartoon i probably would like it more but it's just too simplistic it looks like it needs more inking and some shading and contours but otherwise the story was good it was a really good introduction to the characters i had a lot of fun reading it and i think there's a lot of potential here so i'll give it another issue to see where it's going but i was actually pretty impressed with this i thought it would be a lot worse so i'll recommend it i have a hard time recommending it at four dollars but it was a lot more fun than most marvel and dc books and it was a great introduction to characters that a lot of younger readers aren't likely to know so if you get a chance to check this out i would recommend it that'll do it for this one though thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future reviews if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways links are in the description to various support methods and as always we hope to see you on the next one